you could use more sleep. But gentlemen in the audience, would you still be so keen on more sleep if I told you that sleep shrinks your testicles? <laughs> Don't panic though, bear with me for three minutes. Let's start with sleep itself. We are wired to sleep at night, but how do our bodies know when night is? Well, we've got cells in our eyes, photoreceptors, which distinguish light from dark. And when it's dark, a signal goes into our brain, into the pineal gland, which then produces a hormone called melatonin. Melatonin is a chemical expression of darkness. It flows through our blood and tells the organs, it's dark, it's night time, go to sleep. It's a nice natural way of telling our bodies to go to bed. And fair enough, in many countries, it's actually used as an over-the-counter supplement for people with insomnia. However, a few years ago, a study was made where hamsters were fed melatonin. Worryingly enough, as a result of the melatonin intake, their testicles shrank. You can imagine what happened when it hit the media. The headlines. Men, if you take melatonin sleeping pills, your balls will be the size of peanuts. But will they really? If you feed hamsters more and more melatonin, the sign for their bodies is that nights are getting longer and longer. And what does it mean when nights are getting longer? Well, winter is coming. And hamsters, like many other animals, would go into torpor in winter. So because it's cold and because food is scarce, they will shut down all the non-essential parts of their body like testicles. I mean, it's cold outside, you're not going to go out and impress the girls with your giant balls. Um, so, yes, melatonin in hamsters does reduce testicle size, but does it hold true for humans as well? Well, uh, no. Humans and hamsters are very different species. We don't go into torpor in winter, and men's balls naturally remain the same size year round. So I've got two take home messages for you. First of all, whenever you hear about the study on animals, be very cautious about um, bringing the results and linking them into human behavior because they're not always relevant. And secondly, gentlemen, you can sleep soundly. Your gonads shall remain safe. <laughs>